Hi guys, this is Maddy. In this video, I want to show you what is the dark web and why it's so dangerous to get into it. Let's start. The dark web is the worldwide web content that exists on darknet. Overlay networks that use the internet but require specific software, configurations, or authorization to access. Through the dark web, private computer networks can communicate and conduct business anonymously without divulging identifying information such as a user's location. The dark web forms a small part of the deep web, the part of the web not indexed by web search engines. Also, sometimes the term deep web is mistakenly used to refer specifically to the dark web. The term dark web first emerged in 2009, however, it's unknown when the actual dark web first emerged. Many internet users only use the surface web data can be accessed by a typical Google browser. The dark web forms a small part of the deep web but requires custom software in order to access its content. This confusion dates back to at least 2009. Since then, especially in reporting on Silk Road, the two terms have often been conflated. Despite recommendations that they should be distinguished, the dark web, also known as darknet websites, are accessible only through networks such as Tor that are created specifically for the dark web. Tor browser and Tor accessible sites are widely used among the darknet users and can identified by the domain onion. Tor browsers create encrypted entry points and pathways for the user allowing their dark web search and actions to be anonymous. Do you think why dark web is so popular with criminals? The tour network makes it easier to hide your identity and allows people to anonymously create and host onion services. As a result, criminals often use the dark web to buy and sell illicit goods and services. Darknet marketplaces can be surprisingly similar to sites you find on the surface web, complete with limited time sales, customer reviews, and advertisement for organic products. However, criminals use this marketplace to sell illegal products and services, including drugs, weapons, and hacking software. Many identity thieves and hacking groups make money selling the information they steal on the dark web. The value of the information can vary greatly depending on what's being sold. Full profiles may come with a name, social security number, date of birth, and account numbers and could cost around eight to thirty dollars each complete medical records can be particularly valuable to identity thieves and may go for up to thousands cryptocurrencies such as bitcoin are the preferred means of payments as this also help keeps buyers and sellers anonymous who created the dark web the dark web was actually created by the US government to allow spies to exchange information completely anonymously. US military researchers developed the technology known as Tor in the mid-1990s and released it into the public domain for everyone to use. What is so scary about the dark web? Here's a list of things you can find on the dark web. Black market drugs. Here you can find both illegal and illegally procured prescription drugs. Stolen information. This is where stolen information from data breaches and stolen identities end up. Think social security numbers, personal info, and banking loggings. Another question is, can I use Tor on my phone? Currently available in Google Play as an alpha release, Tor can be installed on any Android phone or tablet. Like its desktop counterpart, Tor for Android blocks adds and prevents third-party trackers from snooping on your online activity. Is downloading Tor browser safe? Tor itself is very safe and provides a high level of anonymity, but definitely not perfect and can leave you vulnerable to a range of security threats if you are not careful. Or is the dark web safe? 
accessing the content on the dark web is relatively safe, same as using a regular browser. Where the danger comes in is when you buy from illegal marketplaces or download files. While downloads may contain malware or keyloggers, police can trace illegal purchases and get you in trouble. Where is the dark web store? The Tor network. When you go on the dark web, data is stored internally on the Tor network. All Tor addresses end in that onion, and it can be tough to find information, with onion sites sometimes disappearing within hours. Do you think who uses the dark web? Military? government and law enforcement organizations are still among the main users. The dark web is mainly used for criminal activity involving buying or selling drugs, terrorist attacks, viewing or distributing pornography and human sex trafficking. What happens if you go on the dark web? When you access the dark web, you are not surfing the interconnected servers you regularly interact with. Instead, everything stays internal on the Tor network, which provides security and privacy to everyone equally. Worth noting, dark web website addresses end with .onion instead of the surfacewebs.com. Is the dark web illegal? Using Tor or visiting the dark web are not unlawful in themselves. It is of course illegal to carry out illegal acts anonymously, such as accessing child abuse images, promoting terrorism, or selling illegal items such as weapons. What is the difference between the dark web and the deep web? The deep web is part of the www whose contents banking are not indexed by standard web search engines. The dark web is the www content that exists on dark nets, overlay networks that use the internet but require specific software configurations or authorization to access. And the last question is how to protect yourself from the dark web. The dark web isn't intrinsically bad, illegal or dangerous. Whistleblowers, journalists, activists and law enforcement officers use the dark web to gather and share information without revealing their identity. And around the world, users may want to use Tor or the dark web evade government censorship and surveillance. However, if you are the victim for identity theft or affected by the data breach, your information could be sold on the dark web. There are some steps you can take to help protect yourself and stay ahead of identity thieves. Be cautious when browsing the dark web. If you choose to browse the dark web, be mindful that you don't know where onion address will take you. Unwittingly wind up on a site that tries to install malware on your device. Use unique password for your account. If your account information is stolen, it's only dangerous if an identity thief can actually use it. Creating unique passwords for all your online accounts can help limit the impact of a single data breach. If you suspect your account information may have been compromised, change your password immediately. Update your passwords. Regularly changing your passwords, even the absence of a threat can also make your account information less useful. A password manager can help you create and store strong passwords and may even perform regular security checkups for you. Sign up for dark web monitoring. A dark web monitoring service will look for your information on the dark web and inform you if it finds anything. Forewarning will let you know which information is compromised and gives you a chance to take steps to secure your identity and accounts. Lock or freeze your credit reports. Locking or freezing your credit reports can keep someone from opening an account in your name, even if they have your personal information. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, Please let me know, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you soon in the next video.